Hello, this is Noseman from the Mags on Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to talk to you about some secret shortcuts you can use in the Object Manager that will allow you to simplify your workflow when working with more than one object. So let's start simple. If you select any single object and you press the Alt key and create any object, let's create a null, that null is going to become the parent of that selected object and it's going to be placed exactly in the same position. So let's undo this. If instead of Alt I press Shift and add an object, that object is going to become a child of the selected object and it's going to be moved in the proper position. So let's undo this. Now if I press Control or Command on the Mac and create an object, this is going to create whatever object without any hierarchy any dependency with the selected object but it's going to be placed in the same position so if i go and select this fella and then press Control and create an object that object is going to be created without any attachment so there's no child parent relationship here but the position is going to be where the selected object was let's undo the last two nulls now let's select more than one objects i'm going to select the first four objects here. And if I press Alt and create any object, let's go and create a generator this time, but this applies to any object you create from these palettes. So press Alt, click on this, and you can see that each selected object becomes a child of whatever you created. And each one of these parents is going to be in the correct position as it relates to the selected object. Let's undo a couple of times to go back. If I press shift and create something, then each of the objects I created becomes a child. And this is perfect if you want to do it with deformers. So press shift, click this, and each object now has its own deformer that complies with the shape of each of the selected objects. Let's undo this. Now, if I press control with a multiple selection, let's go and uh, create something else. Uh, let's go and create a rectangle pressing control and with a multiple selection. What will happen is that we are going to get a rectangle or whatever object that is, that is exactly in the same position as each selected object, but there won't be any hierarchical relationship between these objects. So I can go and delete these. Now let's go and talk about double shortcuts. So I'm gonna select the first four objects and I'm going to press control and shift and I'm going to add a null. This is going to create the new objects above each other object. So look at all the nulls are uh, before the selected object. If I undo this and now press Control, do the same thing. You can see now they're after the selected object. And uh, that's just for convenience, depending on what you're trying to do. If I press Control and Alt and create any object, then that object is going to become a parent for all the selected objects and is going to be placed in the average position of all the selected objects. Let's undo this and let's do a very quick recap. Select everything and let's start. Pressing shift will create children. Undo. Pressing control will create siblings. Undo. Pressing alt will create parents. Undo. Pressing control shift will create siblings above the hierarchy, undo, and pressing control alt will create one parent for all the selected objects. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.